This is part three of what's up in the garden in February. This is the third space that we forage around and collect stuff from. This is the community allotment where our permaculture group has its meetings. This area here is was originally the, the well it still is, the, the wild area where nature's left to do its thing. We did volunteer down here and take it on and sort of we did have a permaculture plan for it unfortunately we didn't get an immense amount of volunteers to help maintain the site and um, so Annie and myself have had to give up on that one because it was just too much for us to do ourselves um, but we did manage to get some nice bits put in here which is still growing so they will still be beneficial um, so this is where we would do the main foraging from so we've just come down today to have a little look for some nettles and some cleavers and some chickweed that's one of the willow domes that we've helped to weave in last couple of years and this was a little fence that we also learnt um, how to do when we put that in uh, <clears throat> sorry about the wobble I'm not actually a professional <laughs> so yeah we've just been down here this morning there's various stuff coming out down here creeping buttercup it's always there dock we've got vetch this is the other willow dome that needs cutting down still um, so there's, be, there's plenty of cleavers around here we've been picking let's have a look there's plenty of dandelions coming up as well. There's some cleavers just there. And go and have a look. Down here, here's the nettle patch. They've cut it right back at the moment, but they're coming through, so we've just been able to pick some of those for tea and soup. They've cut all this down at the back there behind here but wound wart does grow there so we've got a nice supply of that. These are viburnum so make use of those um, and that's hazel there. So this was the little sort of which we intended to be a little mini forest garden really and um, they're streaming it down so it still is being looked after so we put some honeysuckle in there that's edible honeysuckle um, and we put a Siberian pea tree around here that's the Siberian pea tree um, and then these are literally the only two dot roses that we can find in the area these are dog roses these are the ones that have the big yellow uh, orange hips so they've cut those right back a couple of weeks ago so they should come through they have really vigorous growth let's see if I can let's get a longer shot of that longer shot on that one okay so yeah this is the best area for foraging on the site because it is as I say the wild area and it's got the pond there they usually have plenty of frog spawn and frogs in there a couple of weeks okay and then this is the actual site um, that the charity maintain they do amazing work here they've got the five polytunnels and a more formal planted area over at the back there in the far ground um, and then these here the beds that they plant the veg in they do a veg bag scheme for local residents um which is amazing they also do a lot of vocational training here have various groups groups with disabilities groups of school children so they do fantastic work so we're really happy to support them and also really grateful that they support us in letting the group meet here and also enable us to hold our nettle festival here which should be happening in May hopefully 
news to come on that one. Right, these are all the fruit trees. There's apples and pears up here. And there's also some cordons there. They're apples and pears. Actually looking for some chickweed, which I don't think we, well, we can't find any down in the wild area, but I think that's because it'll tend to colonise bare soil. So I reckon we might have more luck having a mooch round here for it. Uh, okay, these are uh, raspberry canes here and black currant canes, and then these are people's um, community patches so that people come in and tend. We've also got one. So I'm going to take you up to have a look at that now. Though there's not much to see there currently. These are the plum trees. Still can't see any chickweed. Plenty of creeping buttercup. And have a look up here. Look, they're just starting to get this ground prepared. Hello. Still stuff growing though. It's charred there. Mm. Lone strawberry. Some mint there. It is mint. Mm. Okay, so. So, yeah, we're really lucky to have this space to use. Someone's got their garlic in. Ooh, nice prepared bed. Ooh, look. Look how ready everyone is. Annie's here with me today. Everyone's better. Look how, look. Oh, no. oh. Yeah, we need to get digging. <laughs> um, so this is our patch here. It's just all covered over at the minute. Ooh, and slightly uncovered by the looks of it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is our, it's basically just four raised beds so we, we've just got it totally covered at the minute because it's absolutely it was left for a year and just covered in cooch so we've been trying the best we can last year was spent most of it was spent digging out cooch root <laughs> and we're uh, hoping to well we had a little idea of creating sort of a medicine wheel but um, based on sort of native herbs from the UK so we're just planning that at the minute and yeah, we need to uh, get up and dig this site so we'll do a bit more filming when we've got stuff in and it's established and uh, let you have a look at it then.